in Miami today. Great criminal defense attorney. Adam, um, to me, it sounds to me like a sign of weakness when your defense to these charges is, it's all politics. It's not politics. It's a pedophile who was protected by Penn State. Well, I, I got to tell you, Vinny, it sounds just like a typical statement from an attorney whose client is found himself to be in a little bit of trouble here. These emails, all this information that we're now uncovering clearly shows that there was some form of cover-up by Penn State officials, including Spanier and the other individuals that have been named in these indictments. But I got to tell you, the one thing I found very interesting about this statement, which I, to a certain degree, agree with, was the whole point that the government themselves had known about these things for so many years and now says, well, the reason why we didn't do anything about it, have these earlier indictments or protect these children was because we were trying to preserve the integrity of our investigation. The government has the same obligation to protect these children than the individuals do at Penn State. But it's clear that this was all about money. It's clear that their attorneys are going to cover up or try to take their spin on anything that they can do in order to protect their client. But I got to tell you, I'm extremely upset, and I believe that a lot of your followers are very upset about what the government did during this period of time not to protect these children, still allowing Sandusky to be on the campus, still allowing the fundraisers, still allowing these things to go on for years. It's atrocious.